Ah, uh, yes, we see you're back. Yes, I am. Good. We'd just like to update you on the new YouTube policies. You know, try to keep things friendly for advertisers. Yeah, sure. So, just for the record, you can't say filth, flarn, flarn, filth in your videos anymore. I never said no filth, flarn, filth. You know what I'm talking about. I can't use the type of language that you use, but you know what I mean when I say filth, flarn, 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 filth. I never said no filth, flarn, filth, and I don't know what you're talking about. In fact, I'm offended you even contacted me. Fuck you. That's what I'm talking about. You cannot say fuck in your videos. Okay, now I'm mad, because you act like that's my whole channel. Like I just posted a video, cursed and left. And I managed to stick in some commentary in between the curses. You couldn't just post no curse video. Just post it like, Filth Florn, motherfucker, dick pussy snotting shit, Good night. What do I know? I'm just some guy. Suck my dick, bye-bye. I mean, do people like what I say? Well, yeah. Do I get paid? Yeah. Then why don't you and the advertisers have a coke and a smile and shut the fuck up? So apparently YouTube decided to curb swearing in videos. According to the updated policy, any profanity within the first 15 seconds of a video will get the video demonetized. This includes abbreviated profanity like WTF, not what the fuck, but the acronym, which ironically doesn't include any swear words. However, several YouTubers noticed that this rule applied outside of the first 15 seconds. Any profanity at any time during the video could result in demonetization, and this policy is retroactive meaning any previously uploaded videos that were perfectly fine before could now be demonetized. True to YouTube's typical form, the rollout was half-assed. YouTube failed to make it clear what they were doing, that this new policy was retroactive, or what anyone hit by the new policy could do to resolve it. From Engadget, quote, As Kotaku explains, YouTube has demonetized old videos for channels like RT Game. Producers haven't had success appealing these decisions, and the company won't let users edit their videos to pass muster. Yes, I know it's ridiculous to cite a source citing another source, but I despise Kotaku, and I won't give them the click. It continues, quote, Communication has also been a problem. YouTube doesn't usually tell violators exactly what they did wrong, and creators tend to only learn about the updated policy after the service demonetizes their work. There are also concerns about inconsistency. Some videos are flagged while others aren't, and a remonetized video might lose that income a day later. This is one of the many reasons why I've never depended on YouTube for income. The policy makes no sense. For one, it punishes creators for doing something they were allowed to do. Anyone who created content under the previous policy could now be punished, and the emphasis is on could because there doesn't appear to be any rhyme or reason to what gets hit. It makes even less sense that people can't edit their videos to remove the offensive content when that's typically allowed in other situations. And on a slight tangent, how is it that Vimeo allows users to re-edit and upload their new videos to the same link, but YouTube doesn't? Vimeo gets a fraction of the traffic and revenue YouTube gets, but they have this feature. Is there any good reason why YouTube can't let creators upload their videos to the same link? Back on topic, barring people from editing their videos sure comes across like an admission by YouTube that the policy is meant to screw people over. And that's what I believe boomers call bullshit. Much like reason number two why this policy makes zero sense. The advertisers. God forbid someone say something stronger than sassafras, lest the advertisers' tender ears be assailed by uncouth vulgarities. It's interesting they've gotten so sensitive considering they have no problem advertising for numerous musicians whose entire songs revolve around cuss words. Or for films where people say fuck instead of um. Or TV networks with shows that literally have cuss words in the title. The precious advertisers are perfectly fine running ass on someone's song about wet ass pussy, but sweet baby Jesus help us if some YouTuber says the name of the song. Can I talk about Penn and Teller's old Showtime show, or is that off limits too? Cause that's bullshit. I don't think this has anything to do with advertisers. I think this is YouTube trying to run the riffraff off the platform. You know, the people who made the platform worthwhile to begin with. YouTube's using the pretense of swearing to do it, but that can't be the reason because advertisers have continued to work with YouTube all this time and prior when YouTube had more lax policies. That said, it is what it is. YouTube apparently doesn't like you using naughty words, so I guess I'll just have to go along with it. 
After all, I write a script, so I can easily avoid cussing every 30 fucking seconds. Just like I fucking did there. So easy, even a nigga from the south side can do it. To be fair, if this video gets demonetized, I will be mildly amused. Mildly, YouTube. Seriously though, if you make a living off of YouTube, you should probably follow the new rule, because they do seem to be kind of dickish about it. But if you're like me and you don't, filth blarm, motherfucker dick pussy snot and chit. Good night. What do I know? I'm just some guy. Suck my dick. Bye bye.